On today's show, Santa visits Forsyth County, and later, the fire department holds a Christmas toy drive. Studio Forsyth starts now. Studio Forsyth is brought to you in part by Coming Forsyth Chamber of Commerce, creating a climate for growth and success in our community. Pinecrest Academy, a national 2014 Blue Ribbon School and 2014 Catholic Education Honor Roll School of Excellence. Forsyth County Schools, quality learning and superior performance for all. Georgia Highlands Medical Services, serving the medical needs of North Georgia since 1979. And Northside Hospital Forsyth, committed to the health and wellness of our community. Welcome inside Studio for Scythe, I'm Kayla Robbins. For the whole month of December, Santa will be at Bottoms Christmas Tree Farm. Along with getting to see the man himself, kids get to cut down their own tree and watch some Christmas movies. Let's check it out. We are at Bottoms Christmas Tree Farm here in Cumming, Georgia, North of Scythe, right off of 369. And uh, we are, we're selling Christmas trees, choosing cut Christmas trees. Santa comes to visit Tree Farm. We have, I've guessed the farm hands have been nice. Santa comes, uh, he came today. Um, he usually comes the last Saturday in November and the first Saturday in December, usually from 10 until lunch. Uh, free pictures. Uh, they have a wish list you can fill out for your, for your children. To, they've been good, they'll, they'll see Santa. He is in the barn, he's here today, and uh, he'll, he'll be, back, be back next Saturday. I enjoy it and it's just a, it's a blessing to me to see the kids and the, and the attitude that the kids have and the, and the majority of them know the reason that we celebrate Christmas is about Jesus Christ and, the, and, and it, it's love that they, they share with, with me and I try to share with them. It's all about family here and all about the kids. And there's a play barn in there. Uh, they get to play and watch a Christmas movie and do it all, what all they want to do on a farm. We have been doing it. We planted our first trees um, probably about 20 years ago. We've been selling trees for about 17 years now. It's all family owned and operated. Uh, the sense of family is uh, is what makes us successful, I believe. I think a lot of people enjoy that. We have uh, uh, we have a large family and uh, all the workers we have here, there's no application process. They are, they are family or their family friends real close. They've been doing it. Most of our guys have been here year after year after year after year. We rarely have new faces on the farm just because everybody seems to enjoy it. It's like a family here. But come see us at Bottoms Christmas Tree Farm. We're open Monday through Saturday, Monday through Friday, 9, uh, 3 p.m. till dark. Um, and then Saturdays we're here from 9 till dark. We're closed on Sundays. We'd love to have everybody out at the tree farm this year during the Christmas, uh, Christmas season. Uh, and and we, hope, uh, we hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. I'm Jose Lopez, I know I'm an OBGYN at the Center for Perinatal Medicine at Northside Hospital. When we received the news of my wife's pregnancy, we were very thrilled. Once we knew that we were carrying triplets, I had no doubt that the Center for Perinatal Medicine was the right place for our high-risk pregnancy. Our triplets are now 10 years old, healthy, happy, and active. We are Northside Hospital. Welcome back. The Forsyth County Fire Department has begun their annual toy drive for Ariel's House. They're taking new toys this holiday season and working with the place of Forsyth County to give Christmas presents to less fortunate kids in the county. Let's take a look. Where we are today is in a classroom at Freedom Tabernacle on Freedom Parkway. And the church has been so gracious this year to allow the use of their facilities for the gathering of toys for this year's toy drive efforts in and around the Forsyth County community. Specifically, Ariel's House is the fire department's effort for collecting toys for Forsyth County children that don't have the opportunity perhaps to have a, a warm Christmas with, with lots of toy options each year. This is our 13th year for this effort and over the years it's grown significantly and has certainly morphed into a, a large scale event as you see here today. This year we're working in concert with uh, among other local organizations, the place of Forsyth County. And the place is acting as the, uh, the rallying point for uh, Ariel's House and other organizations to provide toys for a number of local children to come into during the month of December 
and the families to be able to pick toys and, and provide for them if they're so unfortunate they're not able to get toys themselves. The fire department is the, the point of contact and we manage it because simply fire stations are throughout the county. They're a convenient location for uh, the residents to find in their neighborhoods to drop off toys. Toys can also be dropped off at any Forsyth County Library or the Forsyth County Government Administration Building. But the fire department uh, takes the lead on the program each year and handles the collection of the toys and brings them to this warehousing location where the place is helping with the proper distribution and vetting of the families that are asking for assistance. So far we've enrolled 1,700, well actually over 1,700 children and we are still enrolling families that qualify to come and receive Christmas gifts for their children. The parents will actually come and select the gifts. It's a lot different concept than the traditional angel tree. We're very excited about it. We've been working with the school system, area churches, the sheriff's office, the fire department, just a variety of agencies and organizations to make all this happen. So we're very excited. It's a hectic two weeks, but I think it's going to bring a lot of joy to the families in Forsyth County. Anyone that wants to donate can drop off their items at the place at Forsyth County. Um, they can also order online. Uh, we have the ability through MyRegistry.com to be able to um, order gifts and they'll mail them directly to us for those online shoppers. We thought of everything. Um, we still are in need of middle school, high school gifts. Uh, gift cards or just financial donations because once we get through the first weekend we'll regroup and see what we're what is still needed for the second weekend so that all the families get a lot of items to select from. What we're looking for for an Aero's House donation this year are new unwrapped toys. As you look around that's most of what you see and what we continue to need this year new and unwrapped toys. We also are accepting this year lightly used bicycles. If a bicycle is in good shape and it's been used and still in uh, acceptable condition and safe, we'll accept those. We'll also will accept, for the first time this year, used small electronics, like a small gaming system or a portable DVD player. Some small electronics for the older children are going to be uh, very helpful. We can get a few of those donated this year. That'd be great also. And in closing, I'd like to offer up a, a special thank you to the place of Forsyth County, all of the other organizations that are helping us with this, and most especially Freedom Tabernacle for opening up their doors and providing this space for us to use. Without the support of, of all of these organizations and the great people working behind the scenes, these kind of efforts just would not be possible for the Forsyth County children. I would like to thank everybody that's participated in this. Everyone had a role with qualifying the families, registering the families, uh, Tons of volunteers helping receive and sort the gifts and a special thanks to Freedom Tabernacle for opening their doors and allowing us to use their facility. I consider the chamber is the voice of a business. It's really designed to keep its hand on the pulse of the county. And I think it helps the community grow. They've always been there for me every time I needed to help. The chamber is making sure that they're able to communicate. When I call, I get a response. But the biggest thing for me is the chamber really focuses on helping small businesses. Thank you for watching today's episode of Studio for Sight. From everyone here for Sight County News, I'm Kayla Robbins. Have a great night, and we'll see you back on Friday.